Hello, my name is Brian Dick, and this is my Hacker Rank tutorial series. This is the second episode where we're going over the interview preparation kit, uh, going through the warm up challenges. This is the Counting Valleys problem, and I will be solving it in C. All right, so the problem is an avid hiker keeps a meticulous record of their hikes. During the last hike, they, that took exactly steps, steps. Uh, for every step, it was noted if it was an uphill U or downhill D step. Hikes always start and end at C level, and each step up or down represents a one unit change in altitude. We define the following terms. A mountain is a sequence of consecutive steps above sea level, starting with a step up from sea level and ending with a step down to sea level. A valley is a sequence of consecutive steps below sea level, starting with a step down from sea level and ending with a step up to sea level. Given a sequence of up and down steps during a hike, print, find and print the number of valleys walked through. All right, so before moving on, we can think of this as a, we essentially are looking for how many times we go below sea level and back up to sea level. So we want to keep some value that uh, is where we are currently at, and then take a step, and then that'll mark us down or up. See, when we come back to sea level, that would be one valley, and then keep going from there uh, until we get to the end of this array. Okay, so let's look at their example they have here. So they have steps is equal to eight, path is equal to D, D, U, 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 D, D. So the hiker enters the uh, enters a valley two units deep and then climbs out, uh, up, out and up into a mountain two units high. Finally, the hiker returns back to sea level at the end. Uh, so in this case, we're going to go down two units, up two units, then that puts us back at sea level, so that's one valley. Then we're going to go up two units, that makes us uh, up above sea level, and we go back down to, to sea level again. So that would be one valley and one mountain, but we're only returning the number of valleys walked through, which is one. So uh, function description, complete the counting valleys function in the editor below. Counting valleys has the following parameters, int steps, the number of steps on the hike, string path, the st uh, string describing the path, and int the number of valleys transversed. Uh, and we don't really have to care, worry about the input format or the constraints because we know that they are going to give us valid test cases for the hacker rank. Um, and here is a visual representation of the problem. Okay, so now that we're down to the problem, I'll go ahead and expand this and, oops, not quite that large, probably like 150 is fairly readable. Uh, so here we go. Those counting values right here. So. Um, let's see here. So first things first, we're going to have our current level. So we'll have an int level and this can be, uh, we'll say equal to zero. So zero, oops, zero is the C level. Uh, positive is above. And negative is below. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious, but that's going to be how we are determining this. So every hike starts off at sea level, uh, which is zero. And then if we are get seeing a U, then we've gone up. And if we see a D, then we go down. All right. Um, the number of values, int num values. We want to keep track as we're going through. Uh, how many valleys we have transversed, and we're going to start with zero, not one, zero. Um, that's fairly obvious. And now it's time to actually solve the problem. So I think that's all we need to keep track of. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start by doing a for each loop, much like in the last problem we did. So in this case, we're going to say for char c in our string path. Uh, so for every character in this string, we're going to check if uh, C equals U, then we are going to say 
level, plus plus level. And we could, on a U, hit C level again. So if we are going up and we hit C level again, we just got out of a valley. So if level equals zero, num valleys, we're going to increment the number of valleys. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really matter that much to us. So there's nothing important. And if it's not a U, then it has to be a D. So then we're just going to decrement level. And uh, we are not keeping track of how many mountains we transversed. But if we wanted to keep track of the mountains that we've transversed, if after decrementing level is equal to zero, then that would be another mountain that we've transversed. But I think this should cover all of our bases. And then at the very end, we just return the num valleys. That seems simple enough. And let's see if that works. So we passed the two sample test cases. So that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. It was that easy. So that is how you can solve the uh, Counting Valleys warm-up challenge problem. Uh, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more, uh, I plan on going through the entire interview preparation kit. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or need further explanations on the code or why this works, uh, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer any questions. Thanks for watching and bye for now.